Good morning. I am about to get ready to get my nails did, y'all. Yes, not these hands, because these hands were blessed by Curves and Sparkle. But I'm about to get my feet done by Black Owned Business. Welcome to Expectations, I'm Marie. Alright, let's get going, Marie. I'm going to show you over here to the cover. So we have a wide movement. Everything on this side right here is regular polish. And everything here, down to this shelf here, everything else is gel. Awesome. Well, you have a great array of colors. Amazing. All right. So we are trying to get something to match these from Curves and Sparkles. So what did we come up with? What color is that? This is called um, Germanicure by OPI. All right. You know, that's hot in y'all. You know. All right. Let's get started. Get my nails done. Get my feet together. Oh, you like my nails? You like it. I know you do. My mama made it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how long you guys been here? Uh, June made it two years since we've been here in Limbrook. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. You can put this one in. Let me okay. know how the water is. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, yep. great. And it's a really nice area. Really cool. How long have you been in nail tech? Um, a little bit over two years, like two and a half years. Oh. It's funny, I met Sheila through my old office manager. Nice. Sheila was doing her nails for years. There you go. It works out. Definitely. That's how we have to connect. As far as black owned nail salons in Long Island, do you feel like there's a lot? Do you see a lot of businesses or a lot of visibility of those businesses in that area? Um, honestly, no. Mm. I don't think there's a lot, and I don't think there's like um enough people to actually, you know, do it. Mm -hmm. Like this shop is small. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so only two of us here full time. So, when people fall, some of you know, we're booked to reach out. They don't mm -hmm. understand that. It's smaller than the agent shop that has right. 20 people sitting there waiting for exactly. the business. Exactly. So, we need more people to understand that this is not just a hobby. Oh. It's like you can make this your career. Exactly. And it can be lucrative. Mm -hmm. You make lifelong connections. You need people from all different walks of life. So, I mean, I like it. Mm -hmm. And I figured, like, I feel like more people should like try it and let's Exactly, mm -hmm. get into the business, especially if you're saying you want to support a business, if it's something that you're interested in, mm -hmm. get into it. So now we have the nail techs that are available and we're supporting one another. Yeah. So that's really important. Yeah, but I'm not going to hold you, it was a little difficult to find a nail spot because I know there is one in Franklin Square. Mm -hmm. I remember you could there, but I And, um... The water then I, yes, okay. the water is great. Thank you. Um, and I found this shop, and I honestly couldn't find any others. Yeah, Everything else was like in the boroughs. Yeah, and I don't think there's anything in Suffolk County. Wow. A lot of people come from Suffolk County. Wow. Because there's nothing there. But you know what? That says a lot about your business as well, that people are willing to travel so far for great service. So originally we were in Queens. Mm -hmm. They know the big thing when we got here, people weren't sure, like, uh, they weren't sure if we would get that same attention. Okay. Like, it's here. So, I have not seen the things that I saw there. There you go. So that's a testimony mm -hmm. about your work ethic and the customer service that you guys provide. That's yeah. great. How did you get into nail artistry? Um, I've always liked it. I would do my own nails, like, my feet and stuff, and my friends used to be like, you know, you did that yourself. Like that looks very professional. Mm. So I just, you know, like that. And I was um, one day I just sat down and I was like, I really wanna, you know, take this seriously. So I started buying all my supplies, watching videos, and doing all that stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Like, gonna roll into beauty school, as I said before. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how everything aligns. Cause I was gonna enroll in beauty school. I had to take out a loan. Mm. And I told my office manager, I said, you know, I'm gonna go to beauty school. And she said, okay. And that was on a Thursday. I was supposed to go back Friday to put down the deposit. The person at the school wasn't there. By the time I got back to work on Monday, she was like, I want you to meet my friend, Sheila. She owns a nail salon. Oh. And from there, I was able, she was able to take me under her wing. I got a license, like a apprenticeship license. Oh, and from there, awesome. she taught me, so I didn't have to take out the loan. I got the, you know, hands-on experience. And I learned about a pro, because Sheila's been doing nails for over 25 years. We've been That's in the game amazing. for a while, so you know? Yeah. And 
It's been two years, but I'm still here. I don't there work you at my full-time job anymore. I'm mm -hmm. You're able to sustain mm -hmm. yourself doing this. This yep. is great. Mm -hmm. and so I you let it. your passion become your purpose. Exactly. Go ahead, girl. Yeah. Since you've been under her tutelage, how has that experience been from going from an apprenticeship to now being your own nail tech, um, a licensed nail tech? It's just, like, I learned so much. Like I said, I come across people that different walks of life and every day like me I'm one of those people like I need to learn something if I like I gotta learn something from somebody like I like to know new things and she just it's just a whole different experience like to see like you know I as a black woman too and she's helping me you know we always have a stigma against each other that you know we're selfish and we're not willing to help each other out and just to see it first you know, how you know she took me out of the wing. I'm still here. I'm still going. I had a customer who I haven't seen in two years and she came back and she's like, You're still here? Yeah, I'm still here. And I don't <laughs> think I'm going anywhere. Like That's great. It's like I feel like that's family, you know? Like That's beautiful. Yeah, I love awesome. it. Thank you so much for my got my feet together, chat. Look at it. Come on, toes. <laughs> no so problem. where can we find you on the socials? Okay, um, on um Instagram, gorgeous brown eyes, which is G A W J I S S B R W N E Y E Z, gorgeous brown eyes, and I'm also on the Expectation Nail Spa page. Yes. yes. And we're located at Next Expectation Nail Spa, 530 Merrick Road, Limbrook, New York. Boom. 563. Get into it. Well. I'm support a black sister. Yes, that's Look at this beautiful young get black you sister. Get, got me to get no more quarantine for y'all. You see it? Do you see it? Do you see yes, it? Yes, we cured them. We yes. cured them for the quarantine for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, no Marie. Problem. You've been a blessing Thank today. You. Great Definitely. conversation and customer service. Definitely. So kind and sweet. Y'all come and check her out. All right, y'all. All you. right. Thank you. Mm hmm Got me together. Come on, feet. Yes. Got me together. You see that? That's called happy feet. You see that? Come on. Because I'm happy. Hey homies, it's your favorite internet homegirl Dion Amy Way here and I just finished getting serviced at Expectations Nail Spa located in Lynbrook, Long Island, New York. I had a great experience from getting greeted from Marie straight out the door. You had the lead nail tech and owner, Miss Sheila, who has also greeted me. Great customer service. The place was clean. I can't say anything more about it it was the place was clean and organized they were kind marie was attentive to detail she informed me of all the colors they have a huge array of colors there guys so you will they ain't a color there that you gonna even want because they got everything you need okay so um as far as my service was concerned great like i said attentive even if i had like a little oh can you fix it no qualms no issues she was attentive sweet and kind and i thoroughly enjoyed my conversation with her marie is a nail tech that's been in the game for about two and a half years so she is growing her business she's in growing her clients like she was a, just a sweet kind young lady and just a breath of fresh air so go check them out go check expectations nail spa if you are in the new york long island area and support a black owned business y'all a female black owned business okay and i will check y'all on the next one it's your favorite internet homegirl, Dion Emmy right here. Till next time, deuces.